Okay guys, so in this video we are going to look at how I would solve the FISBUS problem. So let's get into it. So just let's do a recap. So we expect our FISBUS function to return FIS if a number is divisible by 3, BUS if it's divisible by 5, and FISBUS if it's divisible by 15, or basically divisible by, sorry, divisible by 3 and 5. And then we have a big test here basically that walks through a bunch of numbers and checks if we convert the correct number to the correct thing. Because if it's just, if it's not divisible by 3 or 5, it should just return the number. So let's get into it. Here is my little function here. So what I'm doing here is that I am basically put just grabbing the value and first and foremost I want to check if I can use the modulus operator and this is basically what this basically means is that it's going to return the remainder of dividing the thing on the left side by the thing on the right side as many times as possible and I know that something is divisible by 3 by checking if it's equal to 0 because if there is no remainder then this number perfectly matches goes into this value that you have here and then I check if the same thing is, tr is true for 5. Now this is, imp is important because I want to first check if it's divisible by 3 and 5 because if I do it any other way if something is divisible by 5 and 3, if I but if I only check 5 first, I'm going to get bus. And so if I do this, and I ref basically run my test again, you can see that my test starts to fail because I'm just checking, I, I, uh, my specificity is too, too low. I'm, I, if I want to check more than one thing that and it's included in, yeah, if... Uh, if you think about it, it makes sense, right? If you want to check two things, you need to check those things before you check one thing, because one, the one thing the f is, is always going to be true, but if you want to check that both things are true, hey, you need to make that check first, right? So if I put it back, my test starts passing. So this is basically it. So I first check if we are div if the value is divisible by 3 and 5, and then I check if it's divisible by 5, and I check if it's divisible by 3. And if it's none of these things, I simply return the value. And that's all there is to the FISBUS, FISBUS algorithm. I, yeah, that's, that, that's basically it. Have a great day.